Several viewers, such as recently Malu Rulan, have sent in information about this most beautiful tree on earth known as the rainbow eucalyptus. Ever seen it before? This very large, colorful tree originates in the Philippines of all places. Our viewers have questioned, is it a coincidence that the rainbow, you know, Yahuwah's sign for the covenant with all the earth, may also be preserved as a symbol in this tree from the very land where Noah built the ark, which is its place of origin. Interesting. No, we did not, nor have we ever said the ark landed in the Philippines, but that it was constructed there, as we prove in our Solomon's Gold series, it is the land of Adam and Eve called Havila, which is actually named after Eve. Hava is her Hebrew name, and it means one who suffers pain that brings forth, which means childbirth. It is the land of childbirth, the land of the very first childbirth. Now, we know this because we test the three resources that define this land of Adam and Eve in Genesis 2 from thousands of years ago. And the Philippines still today is number one in all three resources on all of Earth. So really, there is nothing left to guesswork here. Now, if you have not seen that series, you are in for the journey of a lifetime. We will link it at the end of this video in English and Tagalog for you to start. This series is not actually new information, but restores ancient truths, which were known all the way up until the 1890s. Even Jose Rizal, which we cover, was aware. So anyone claiming it is new doctrine doesn't even know their own history and is simply ignorant of what we cover. They just haven't reviewed it, that's all. Check it out and it will likely change your life. As you realize, this significant, very ancient land is not just a journey of history and geography, but you will never understand prophecy without understanding these facts. This history, this geography restores prophecy. The prophecy of the Philippines, which we should all know, everyone on earth who is a believer. In the flood account in Genesis 9, Yahuwah promised he would set his rainbow in the cloud as a token of the covenant between him and the earth. He repeats this a couple of times, different ways, but then specifies this is that he may remember the everlasting covenant. You do know what everlasting means, right? It means he never abolished his covenant, nor will he ever. In Matthew 5, 17 through 20, his son, who lived among us, says the same thing. He did not come to abolish the covenant, but to fulfill it, which he will not completely fulfill, according to that passage, his own words, until the day of final judgment to come. He did not just place this symbol in the clouds in the sky, but also in heaven. Above his throne is a rainbow. And Revelation tells us this rainbow will also appear over the head of the mighty angel who comes down from heaven. It is a symbol of his covenant, and this tree is no different. Why? Because this tree originates in his land of creation, in the land of Noah, the Philippines. And we prove that out thoroughly in Solomon's Gold series, and we challenge anyone to try to prove it wrong. It's been over three years. No one has. This tree is a species of tall tree, commonly known as the rainbow eucalyptus, the Mindanao gum, or rainbow gum, and is native to the Philippines, Indonesia, and Papua New Guinea. 
but has been widely planted in many other countries. So this rainbow tree is even named for Mindanao, though we have found references of it growing on other islands around the archipelago, such as Negros, in fact. Also, this is a very significant tree as it can grow up to 75 meters or 250 feet in height and 240 centimeters or almost 8 feet in diameter. That's pretty large. It's not quite the size of a California redwood, but very large regardless and among the top 20 or so tallest trees on earth. So we ask you, is this a coincidence? We think not. It would be just like Yahuwah to create a tree also that represents his symbol of his covenant with the earth, the rainbow eucalyptus originating in his land of creation and the very land where Noah built the ark, the lands of gold and silver which became known after the flood as Ophir, Sheba, and Tarshish. We prove that out thoroughly. The land of Pilipinas, which in Hebrew means miraculous cornerstone. Wow. The land of Mindoro, which in Hebrew means species of the generations, signifying the land of creation. The land of his bride purchased with a price, or in Hebrew, mahar laka. Hmm. As this land once was known. Are these all coincidences? Can they possibly be? Well, when you review all the actual evidence, because these are just side notes, when you review it all, not even remotely, you will likely agree. The Philippines is the most significant land on earth. Watch Solomon's Gold series and see for yourself if we prove it. Don't let someone who thinks they know what we teach yet is never actually watched deter you as Einstein put it best when he said, condemnation without investigation is the height of ignorance. Do not allow the ignorance of others who have not bothered to do their research then define you in their same category. Know the truth. Test it for yourself. Prove all things. 1 Thessalonians 5.21 We source every slide and the evidence is not just the Bible which is the origin of the story of Ophir and Sheba, so don't ask us to prove it without it. That would be ridiculous. But we go deep into geography, history, science, archaeology, language, etc. Tons of disciplines. This will blow you away. Take the journey, which has generated over 7 million views now, and you will not regret it. Don't take it, and you will never know. You decide. Thank you for watching our Solomon's Gold series. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click the bell. Friend us on our new Facebook at The God Culture Space Hyphen Space Original. Share this video with others and check out our website at thegodculture.com. Thank you for joining us and Yahuwah bless you.